So in this video, I want to talk about my new favorite accessory to a work from home setup, that being the Momboy walking pad and the Momboy treadmill SE. Now disclaimer, Momboy did send these out to me for me to check out, but these thoughts are all on my own and they're going to be seeing this video at the exact same time that you guys are seeing this as well. So there's no reviews, no edits. This is all straight from the heart. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about it. So first talking about the unboxing experience. It's pretty much pretty basic. You get your box, you get the main unit and you get your spare additional parts. So some of these parts are optional to be used. Others are required to be installed into your treadmill to get the full experience. Inside the accessories box, you do get two wrenches, one being a number five and one being a number six, as well as lubricant oil, the power cord, the controller, and a treadmill SE does come with a phone slash tablet holder, as well as additional handrails that you do have to install. The walking pad also comes with additional front legs that you have to manually install as well. And speaking of the installation, pretty much plug and play. You just plug it in via the power cord. And with the Tremo SC, you do have to manually install the included handrails. Pretty simple. Use the bolt, use the included wrench, and just attach it together. It's pretty easy to set up. And then the walking pad does have, like I said, those front legs that you just have to screw on at the very front. And both do come shipped with the tension correctly set up, so there should be no need for you to adjust and play with it. As far as the building design, overall, pretty sturdy for what you're paying for. It is made up of plastic and aluminum, so the main frame itself is a metal of aluminum, and then the top portions are made up of plastic. I will say that the Treadmill SE does look a little bit sleeker and cleaner looking because it is just a matte black look to it versus the walking pad is a bit of a glossy finish and does have some blue accents to it. it doesn't look terrible but i do fear that that glossy plastic will pick up a ton of scratches not to mention it is pretty flexible so like when you're stepping on that front piece it does flex down and could potentially break over time if something hard falls on top of it and both do come with an LED display down in the front of the treadmill so it'll tell you your speed your distance and the duration so how long you've been going as well as the calorie count but taking a closer look at the treadmill SE, you do have two modes. You have the walking mode as well as the running mode. Walking mode basically means you do have the top frame lower down and the arms down so it's not up and erect versus if you do have that up, you do technically put it into running mode. That top portion is pretty sturdy and the handle and the latch that connects it and keeps it up that is pretty strong. I don't feel like it ever feels like it's about to fall on me or anything like that. It does stay on pretty well. Arms though on the sides are made up of plastic as well and they are pretty small so they're not going to really help too much. I mean they can help you at a split of a second if you ever feel like you're losing your balance. Just reach and grab it down. It does seem to help for the most part but they are on the smaller side. And the include top insert to be able to hold your phone. I do find a lot of times that once you get going whether it be walking at a fast pace or even if you try jogging slash running. If the tremolo starts to shake as you're taking those steps i do find that there's not enough gap or grip to be able to hold your phone especially nowadays a lot of phones tend to be a bit thicker it is very easy for your phone to start to slip and slide and eventually fall off and the buttons at the top are made out of rubber so they don't feel the nicest when you're clicking on them but for the price that you're paying i wouldn't be complaining too much and the running belt does feel pretty strong as well it's made up of five different layers one of those being a water resistant layer at the top as well as a shock absorption pad as well as a sound isolation layer and overall, both the treadmill and the walking pad are compact and on the smaller side. So this is both good and bad. There's definitely pros and cons to having a compact treadmill. So first, let's talk about the sizing that these are. So with the walking pad, it is at a length of about 48.78 inches and around a total width of 20.5 inches. And it's just about 5 inches in height. So it is a pretty simple walking pad to be able to try and hide away, whether it be under a desk, under a couch, or even under a bed. And you could also potentially stand it up. I personally like to stand it up on its side, up against a wall. Pretty much gets out of the way if I decide to sit down on my desk. The Tremo SE, on the other hand, because it does have those handrails and also comes at the top portion, it does make it a little bit wider and also a little bit longer. And of course, it also adds a little bit to the weight. I think the walking pad does weigh at around 50 or so pounds, and the Tremo SE does add a couple of pounds due to the fact that it has that top frame. So the Tremo SE was folded down. It does come in at a length of 55 inches. The width is around 27 inches, and it does stand at a height of around 8 inches. So not massively wider and longer and taller compared to the walking pad, but it does add a little bit of uh, dimension size there. So when you're trying to put it away, you do have to consider that. And also it's not as easy to maybe potentially stand it up or put it on its side because of those handrails. And just for context, I do store my Tremor SC underneath my bed and it is able to comfortably fit perfectly 
underneath a full-size bed, which is the size I have. Not only are they compact when it comes to storing them, but they do come with wheels at the front pre-installed, so you're able to easily move these around as needed. They do, like I said, weigh around 50 pounds or so, so they are slightly heavy, but they're probably on the lighter side compared to a bunch of other treadmills out there. Now, as far as the running area size, though, because they're so compact, you do have a small area to actually be able to run and walk on. So you're looking at about a length of 39.4, so just under 40 inches of length and just under 15, around 16 inches of width. So definitely on the smaller side when it comes to how much space you have to run. Personally, I... I struggle to run on these treadmills. Now walking is perfectly fine. I do find myself occasionally tripping over and hitting the sides and constantly knocking my feet. In fact, I've been using slides when walking and you can already see the scuff marks on my slides as well as my uh, foam runners that they've been scuffed up because I keep hitting the sides of the treadmill. So these are pretty thick footwear so that also might be part of it and they're massive because I have massive feet. But that's something to keep in mind as well because I, I am constantly you know hitting the sides and scuffing up my footwear. So with that being said, when it comes to actually using it to run, it, it's it's pretty tough. It's very small on me. It, it, I feel like I'm constantly tripping or getting too close to the end and the edge, and I am causing it to make a squeaky noise. And also, not to mention, I do find it to be a bit of a slippery belt. I have adjusted the treadmill SC's belt to try and see if I can fix it, but to this point, I haven't been able to. It has been a bit of a pain. So running and jogging is it's not going to be for me. I think I'm up one maybe a little bit too heavy as well. So that's why I'm maybe also causing the belt to slip a bit. But two, it's also too small. I think my strides are also too long. I am at a height of around five foot, 10 inches. So take that as you will. So if you're on the taller side, especially if you're much taller than me, then I would likely recommend looking at something a bit bigger. But if you're on the smaller side, maybe if you're a female and you're smaller or something, um, just smaller than me, you could potentially have a better experience when it comes to actually running on the treadmill SC. So personally, my main usage on these treadmills is walking and this absolutely changed the game when it comes to walking and working at my work from home desk. So in case you guys don't know, I do work from home at a typical eight, nine to five job. So I do spend a lot of my time just sitting at my desk. So being able to stand up and not only just stand up, but stand up and walk is fantastic. Now you do need to invest into a standing desk of some sort as well, because obviously you can't just walk and type, and type if you're sitting down at a sitting desk. So that's also another investment you have to make. And so if you already have that kind of desk, then obviously a walking pad or any kind of treadmill that can easily fit underneath your desk and also be moved out of the way when you don't want to be walking it's fantastic. So I definitely recommend these for someone who works from home or even if you're a student, if you can somehow afford it and you have a ton of online classes, then you can use this as well. So this is for anyone who has any kind of desk set up that they spend a lot of time at and want to be able to transition from sitting down and also being able to stand up and walk at the same time. It's fantastic and I absolutely love it. And both of them have the same way of starting the treadmill itself, which is via the controller. Now the controller does come pre-synced whenever you start it up and remove the little piece of plastic to turn the battery on it's able to start and stop the treadmill as well as increase and decrease the speed but the issue and the question i have here is what happens if you lose it with the treadmill sc it's no problem if you happen to misplace it or lose it you can use the regular buttons on the top portion but do keep in mind you do have to have the top frame up and actually in running mode for you to actually be able to use those buttons if you have the top frame down it puts it in the walking mode and you can't use those buttons whereas the walking pad there's no physical buttons other than the off and on switch on the treadmill itself to actually start the treadmill so you can't start it without the controller so if you were to happen to lose the controller on the walking pad you may be out of luck. I'm sure Mobboy would be happy to probably help you out and send you another one. But I kind of find it a bit weird that there's no actual physical start button on the walking pad itself. And looking at the two different modes, obviously the walking pad only has the walking mode. You are able to go at a maximum speed of 3.8 miles per hour on the walking pad. So that's like a pretty fast walking pace i do keep in mind again you don't have handrails but you don't really need the handrails when you're going at a walking pace but you can get creative and potentially use chairs or something to give you some support if you need it versus the treadmill se you do have two modes as i've said many times so you have your walking mode which is when the frame is down you can only go at a maximum speed of 3.8 miles per hour and then when you lift that frame back up 
and you start the session then, you are in running mode. So then you're able to go at a maximum speed of 7.6 miles per hour. So it's definitely not the fastest when it comes to the how fast you can go. But like I said before, with the amount of running space that you have, you probably don't want to go at sprinting speeds because you may end up falling and hurting yourself. So the max speed, I think, works pretty well with what you're able to get out of this treadmill SC. And one thing to note is that if you were to start your treadmill uh, while it's in the running mode and then you happen to lower it down to the walking mode if you were to do that it does stay in the running mode and vice versa as well so if you happen to start it in walking mode and then you lift the top frame up it won't let you go past that 3.8 miles per hour because it still thinks it's in walking mode so you have to stop the session and then restart the session and both motors on the treadmills are overall pretty powerful and also very quiet so the walking pad comes in at around 2.25 horsepower versus the treadmill it comes at around 2.5 horsepower and when you're actually using them, the treadmill itself is pretty solid, but now... Once you start using it and maybe even get into those runs and jogs, the thumping noises do come into play. So while the motor is quiet, you yourself are going to make a lot of noise. So me personally, I live in the upper level of an apartment building. So I do feel a bit self-conscious and a bit bad for when I'm testing these out, when I'm running on the treadmill SE. So if you live in an apartment at the top, I probably would not suggest getting a treadmill in the, in the first place. But if you were to get one, this might be the best bet to get because of how silent the tremolo itself is. Because I feel like whichever tremolo you get, you likely will be causing some thumping noises uh, to the neighbors downstairs. And looking at some additional features, both of them have the ability to connect to a app via your smartwatch. Now, this app is only available on Android OS, so Wear OS. So you have to have one of those watches to be able to download this app. It's the Mobboy Treadmill app. It really doesn't do too much. All it really does is that it connects via Bluetooth and then allows you to see some real-time data as you're walking. It's kind of like a mini, like a very miniature workout app. If even, all it does is again, give you the stats of like the distance, the speed, basically what you're seeing on the treadmill itself. But it also gives you additional info such as your heart rate, your steps and your distance, as well as the calories you burned. So it doesn't really do much because it does track it. Like you can save that history of your sessions but it doesn't really connect to other health apps. It's really pointless in my opinion. Uh, you're better off just using your own personal health apps, but then again, you are potentially running into the issue of how it's maybe not as accurate as the treadmill itself. Um, so that's always something to keep in mind as well. And both are able to connect to third-party virtual running apps such as Zwift. So if you want a more virtual and more immersed experience, then you can use one of those applications. And since the Treadmill SC is able to go into a running pace, you do have a safety lock included and built in. So it connects via a magnet and you attach the other end piece on via a clip onto your shirt. And if something were to happen, the magnet gets attached, it automatically quickly stops the treadmill. And the last bonus for both of them is if you have pets, specifically if you have cats, they will love this treadmill. Not because they'll use it and work out themselves, but because the little Mobvoy logo that shows up on the belt itself, for some reason, my roommate's cat loves to play with it and loves to attack it. And uh, it's pretty funny, but that's a bonus. If you have pets, they not only get entertained, but you also get a nice workout in. As far as the price in the Tremo SE does start at a price of $290 versus the walking pad is around $240. It does sound pretty expensive, but if you look at Amazon and look at treadmills similar to these models, they're priced pretty similarly. And right now, Monvoy themselves and Amazon have discounts available that so you can get these well below the retail price. And overall, I would definitely recommend these treadmills. Even though they were sent to me, I would gladly purchase the walking pad any day. I've been looking for something to be able to use while I'm working from home and the walking pad is the perfect solution. So that's why it's quickly become my new favorite accessory for my work from home setup. The Trevo SE is fantastic. It's just not a perfect fit for me. I think I'm too big for the compact size treadmill. It works great for a walking pad, but not for actually running and jogging, at least for me. So with that being said, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and peace.